guys welcome back to another video i am running to go get my hair done in greenwich which is a few towns over from me and i thought i would vlog love you you are say hi to the vlog hey, okay i love you. love you i'll text you Hi, can I please have a medium green tea lemonade sweetened, please? Medium green tea lemonade sweetened, 424, hi right up. Thanks. So I've had quite a few hairstylists tell me in my years of being blonde that I really should um, transition to a more lived in blonde, like a darker blonde, like a rootier blonde. And I finally listened and I'm so happy. I also think it takes finding the right person to help you get there. Like I wasn't comfortable doing what I'm doing now until I found someone that I really trusted. But yeah, I'm definitely transitioning into a darker blonde, a more lived in blonde. My hair is so much happier. I was literally getting highlights every three to four weeks. I haven't gotten highlights in four months, so I can already feel the difference on my hair and I'm just really excited. I feel like my hair is looking better than ever and I just love the color. I feel like it's so much more flattering. I feel like I was just being so washed out with the hair color that I previously had. I'm on the journey of removing my hair extensions. I don't even care if my hair isn't super long. I just don't want hair extensions. I just am so excited to remove my extensions. So that's my goal and I definitely feel like I'm gonna get there. Also guys, Tommy is in China right now, which is crazy to me. So the time difference is crazy. So it's 1.15 here and it's 1 a.m. in China. But he's in China for tennis for two weeks and then he's going to Japan and then I'm supposed to go to Japan. And I really wanna go to Japan, guys. Like I really wanna go to Japan. It's been like top of my list travel-wise. It's just so different than any place that I've been. I've also never been to Asia. But I'm enjoying home so much, guys, right now. And I'm like, it's not that I don't want to go. It's just like, do I want to leave home? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Appetite? Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Have Yum. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I just like don't want to leave home. Literally so far. I am just like literally waking up at home so happy i also just have a lot of work to do this month probably the most booked i've ever been ad wise it stresses me out a little bit shooting campaigns on the road i always manage to get it done but i do think it's kind of fun to shoot campaigns on the road to add variety to my ads i was having this really kind of like emo thought last night i don't know if it's emo but it's definitely not like a positive thought um and this wasn't triggered by anything in particular i feel like this is personal because of my career and because of how much i share my life so intimately and obviously i still do have quite a bit of privacy but i share a lot and i share a lot of like my home and a lot of my things and my life i just had this thought last night like a very passing thought that i thought i would share and it was because of how good I feel like my life is right now. Like I've been really happy and I love my house, I love my horses, I love my new bathroom. Like all these things that I've kind of done for myself, built for myself are just making me really happy. Even small things like I'm really happy that my hair is growing so I can take out my extensions, feel healthy and I feel good. And I feel like I have really good girlfriends and my relationship is doing really well and I just had my one year anniversary with Tommy I just get this like fear that it's just more like a realization that as long as I'm a public person no matter how happy I am or how much work I do on myself or anything being a public person means that people will see your life and the way you look and then try to take it away from you the thought that no matter what I do how happy I am even probably the happier I get as long as this is my career I'm going to have people trying to take happiness and success away from me and take me feeling good about myself away from me I also think this thought was sparked from like thinking about my goals and where I want to be in 10 years and what I want to be doing and and honestly guys I am so so grateful for my platform and I love making videos I love what I do honestly don't love what the internet has turned into 
it is like a struggle that I have a little bit because it's my job. Anyways, I could talk about that for literally hours and it makes me really concerned a little bit about raising my own kids and where I want to raise my kids and how I want to raise my kids. The green tea lemonade sweetened from Starbucks is so good. Also guys, I really need to get my nails done. I have a French manicure on right now. I don't know if you can tell. I loved it. I love a French manicure. My nails are also naturally pretty long right now for the first time in a while. Um, so I have like a natural nail French manicure and I am obsessed with it. want to do it again, but then I'm like, oh, I should get some like fun fall color, but I also have like a pretty big, exciting photo shoot coming up. I feel like the French manicure would be cute. I'm touch up and do highlights just to break up the root a little, but we're gonna still keep it rooty, but just break it up a little. saying that she wants to cry looking at my hair. <laughs> I'm so proud. So proud. Usually I'm saying like a hundred Hail Marys. <laughs> Can you repeat what you just said for the vlog? Yes. I just said that like I'm more concerned about how the hair wears over time than how it looks on the day that we do it. Right. I want it to be natural and look good two months from now and not just the day. Anybody can do good color on one day. Right. But I want it to look good and not ratchet after the few weeks. Which is why I think that makes you so good. Because I think a lot of people nowadays like want the money grab. Yeah. Of like the, it looks really good blowed out slayed in the salon right away and then it turns like yellow and your hair falls out. And then your hair is too dark for the color you're trying to do. Right. It's never going to look good and it's going to grow in hideous. So we want longevity. Yeah. I love you. Love you. I'm so happy with my hair. She's very, very booked, but um, you could try to get in and see her if you're in the area. She's just so good. She's honestly just become a friend, which is so nice. Her son actually rides and shows horses, so we always talk about horses and her son, and she's just really, really great. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now. I have, I think, a meeting. Oh, it might have been. I think it's right now. Blue floral on the waffle. I think in a pink it would look really, really cute, honestly. Yeah, so I had her start working on that and I said I would play awesome. over the pink stuff we've already um, done. Awesome. She was talking about the flocking and stuff. There's a sample box coming for that. Two um, examples. I was like, well, I'd rather like have you guys do testing. Okay, I am back and I love my hair, so I'm really happy with it. So speaking of hair, I have come out with a collection with Cove Essentials hair clips and I have a collection that's mine and I'm really, really excited about it, so I had to share it in this YouTube video. Really excited to be sharing with you guys these clips. We've been sampling a bunch of different colors that like really suited me and the colors that I liked and kind of my lifestyle. So we have the Soul Clip in Pine, this gorgeous green color. The Daily Clip in Ash, and a reason why I love this clip in particular is because it holds extensions and it's big. It's a really big clip. I'm gonna try it on and show you guys in a second, but this works with extensions, which is a huge selling point of this clip, particularly. Then we have the Demi Clip in Louie, named after my horse. And then we have the Sculpt Clip in Woods. So this one is actually available in four sizes, and this is available in three sizes. So you guys will see it on the site. I'm going to leave a link. You guys should check it out. And I'm really proud of this collection, and I'm really honored to be working with this company and partnering with them on this collab. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I actually was vlogging... Maybe like six vlogs ago, I was telling you guys about a shoot that I did here at my house. The girls came from Toronto and we did this shoot in my house and at the barn. So all of like the images for the campaign really feel familiar to me and my life. Yeah, it was just a really organic, fun collaboration. So a point that I wanted to make about the clips so that I wanted to relay to you guys is that they're actually not made of plastic. They're made of a material and I don't know how to say it, but I'm gonna put it across the screen. So I don't want to butcher it, but they do have a very unique feeling and it really doesn't feel cheap. They're really durable. Been to Canada this summer, especially in Vancouver. If a girl had a hair clip, it looked like this. So this is Cove's kind of signature look. Every girl with a hair clip have a Cove clip in their hair. I can't really decide what my favorite clip from the collection is. 
Like this one is one of my favorites because of the amount of hair it fits. But also the Louie clip is just like so cute and special and I don't have any gingham clips. Okay guys, I got stuff to make tortellini soup, but I'm actually, I think, gonna make spaghetti because the girls wanted that. So I'm gonna make the tortellini tomorrow. I'm just gonna use this leftover shallot to make some salad dressing for the week. This is just lemon, agave, and olive oil. So I'm just gonna grate some of this so I don't waste it. Maybe like half of it. so dark in here the main light is out so okay we're just hopping on a quick call right now to review web we are doing a new website at Jerry boy and i'm so excited about it so about to review that it is the rainiest coziest day it's been raining a lot here in connecticut um did you see this section that's really cool i'm just seeing it now really cool oh, okay so this one would be what i was saying before like news new pop-ups new collections that kind of thing and it's just un Pumpkin low. Okay, so I look like a little Dutch boy. No, you which look so I cute. love. We love that for I you. Love it. Okay, guys, I got a pumpkin spice latte. I've never had a pumpkin spice latte. Okay, pumpkin spice latte. But last time we were in the car together, no, that was not the last time we were in the car together. That was a hundred. <laughs> that was a hundred times ago we were in the car together. But I had the um, pumpkin cold foam, but never like the whole latte. Is it good? Um. Is mine good or is yours good? Is this good, the pumpkin spice latte? Yes, but I think you might think it's a little sweet. It's like a treat. A sweet treat? It's a sweet treat. We should make a sweet treat today. We should. Can't wait for the vet. Wait, it's good. It is sweet though. It's a treat. It's it is definitely a treat. a treat. It's nice though, it's pleasant. Yeah, it's very pleasant. Guys, guess what? We're going to the- It's the CSI three star- um, Grand Prix. Grand Prix, yeah. At the polo play at the polo grounds, which are beautiful. We're going next Sunday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wait, what's the outfit that you wanted to wear? I'm looking on Reformation. I want to do like okay. I think it's gonna be kind of Is cool. Is it dressier though? Yeah. I've never been to a Grand Prix. Is it fun? It's in watching people compete at that level, it's like insane. the athletes and like the horses too. It's just yeah, it, it's insane. So a Grand Prix is a show jumping event. Yeah. That's the highest jump, the highest jumps. Yes, but different Grand Prix are different heights. So this. So this one's. Um, it could be meter fifty. Lauren was telling us like a month ago that we have to go, and then the agency that like runs it emailed us. So now we're gonna have a little setup. Are we gonna get drunk? I w I'm gonna definitely have a few glasses of champagne. <laughs> I got my nails done yesterday and they're so bad and Lauren's bullying me about it. She goes, you have to change your nails. Unprovoked, you just go, we have Because I saw them out of the corner of my eye and I was like, no. Is it gel? Yeah. It was really upsetting. Should we go? Can we please? I haven't gotten my nails I'm done. I'm really, really fucked up. Look at, you wanna know something first? Look at my fingers. Like, what the? they're like creepy. <laughs> One thing about me, finish the sentence. One thing about Penny. About Benny. Um, she's gonna make a chicken salad. <laughs> she's gonna make a chicken salad. I was gonna say one thing about me is I'm gonna make soup, but this is from my garden and I'm really impressed by it. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunch for the girls and then I'm gonna make a soup for dinner that I might actually get started on now so I can let it simmer for a while. I also wanna make mashed sweet potato. Is that really random? Please. Wait, oh, is this? Butternut squash. Okay, I'm just boiling some butternut squash 
And then this is just sauteing. I'm gonna do the soup really low and slow because I have the time. So I'm just taking my time with this. house because I really want my dad to try it. Good morning. Hello. People sure always say you're good. so pretty. Really? Yeah. Like who? Like everyone. Everyone. <laughs> talked much on the vlog today. I took off my shirt while I was eating because I was really hot. I'm gonna go put it back on. We had a fun little girls day today. We just made dinner and I'm gonna make this dessert. Mm -hmm. 